Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And this quick tip is going to be just how to easily and effectively place 3D objects in a camera track scene in Blender. Now this is going to go off what we did a few weeks ago when it came to camera tracking. Basically, with Blender, when you camera track, sometimes it just kind of obliterates your track in the sense that you can't see where your tracks are and that's after you've gone through the whole process of setting everything up you know with the tracking you've already imported your footage you set the scenes your prefetch all this good stuff here you set all this stuff right and i'm going to leave a link or a thumbnail so you guys could uh check out how to camera track in blender so that way we don't have to go through the whole process of doing that again but after you've done your tracking you've uh solved it and everything like that everything comes out right have a nice solve error that next step of actually placing tracks in your scene which is here can sometimes be a little iffy what I mean by this it has these um, settings here for the floor wall set the origin, set the x-axis and so on and so forth and they click on set up tra tracking scene uh, now, if I look at my 3D viewport, for example, I've already solved it. Let's get all the tracks in here. And the tracks are supposed to be visible, but you can't see it at all. So if this ever happens to you where you set up your tracks, and you can't, you, can't even, you can't even see the camera. This is the camera here, but you can hardly see it. You can choose it uh, from your outliner here. Just left click on that. But you can't see the tracks. So if you were to put in a 3D object in here, let's go back to camera view by pressing zero on our keyboard, and you click on sub tracking scene, you've got that there. Now this is way out of a perspective, big time. Keep in mind, this is just going to help you out just in general. If you set the floor and you set the wall the way the tracks are. You're not going to see any of your any of your 3D objects at all. You will not see them. Let me show what I mean. Then press Control Z to go back. Now I'm going to pick. Let me see three points. This point, uh, this point, and this point, and set that as the floor. And I'm going to click on sub tracking scene, and that's there. And it's still out of whack. To avoid frustrating yourself do this let's go back to the beginning don't even uh, deal with this at all just click on sub tracking scene and then select uh, the ground let's try to zoom out from this the ground and the cube and manually place these items in your scene let's press zero Let's press S on our keyboard to scale it down a little bit to make it smaller so we can see it better. Like I said, it's, it's tricky. With the tracking and Blender, it just pretty much throws everything out of whack sometimes. And you just manually place it. Now I know that my scene is here. I can't see through the cube, so I'm going to press Z on my keyboard. Now I can see through it. This is a short that I did uh, for the channel. You can check it out if you want to. Uh, but to place these items, I'm just going to manually place them in here. So I'm going to press RR. To get free rotation RR, and just kind of, you know, just manually do it myself. Because I know I want this cube and plane to be on top of this frying pan here, because this is where I'm going to place my 3D object. So I'm just going to line it up. You can play with the, uh, to get better control over what you're seeing in your, in your scene, uh, change the transformation orientation from global to view. And that gives you better. A better control over your scene so you can move it a lot easier the objects in your scene and uh, it turns the based upon how you're looking at uh, your view here it puts the axes that are more advantageous to you in terms of how you want to pivot or move your objects in your scene so now my Z is facing me the Y is up and the X is facing towards the right which is helpful so I'm going to rotate it on the Y axis, R, Y on the right Y axis to kind of turn it like this. And then 
R again to kind of pivot, free pivot. And now I have better perspective or better idea of how I want my objects to be t placed in my same Let me press Z on my keyboard again. And now it's sitting in the pan. You have to keep in mind that these uh, settings here for floor, wall, so the origin, those are not necessary to place the objects in your scene. Those are helpful to you if you want to use them, but they're not necessary. You don't have to, you don't, do not have to use any of these at all. You can manually do this yourself to get a better idea, especially if you place the tracks and you set the scene and your tracks are just not visible at all. To avoid frustration, manually place the objects in your scene yourself. Let's, let's scale this up a little bit and rotate it on the Y axis again. I want it to kind of sit a little bit better. Yeah. And then when you press play, it just sits there where it's supposed to be. Because before with myself, I used to think that with the tracks, that your 3D objects had to be placed directly on top of the tracks in the view. And that's not true. You can place the, the uh, objects the way you, where you want them to be in your scene without having to place them on top of the tracks. And it'll still work. These options here are not mandatory, they're not, they're not necessary, they're, they're helpful if you need them. But if you don't need them, place the objects in your scene by yourself and navigate on your own. Now if you come across a situation where your object is sliding in the scene, simple fix. Click on camera in your outliner, go to the camera options here, and click on these three lines to get the presets. And from these presets, pick whatever camera you use, whether it was an iPhone or Red One camera or Nikon. Just pick one of these, and that will usually fixes any kind of sliding in your scene. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. So avoid frustrating yourself. Do not try as much as possible to avoid using these settings here to place objects in your scene. Just manually place the three objects in your scene yourself after you've done the tracking, and you'll be a lot happier in the end. Uh, but that's today's Blender Quick Tip. I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. And uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribed now, and those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.